my name's John. Today we're going to talk about speaking English while eating food with others. First, a few tips. Watch the video with a friend if possible. Speak out loud when being asked questions. And stop the video when necessary to answer questions or to think more about what you would say. First, let's start by doing a few warm-up exercises. Remember, pronunciation is the most important factor when speaking English. Today we'll do short and long I sounds. I'll say the words, then stop the video and practice on your own. Bit, bite, knit, night, tick, time, lick, like, fill, final, written, write, pillow, pineapple, window, Wild, sister, silent, hidden, high. I'll read the sentences, then stop the video and practice again on your own. When I took a bite of the apple, I bit my tongue. My grandmother loves to knit at night. Opportunity passes with each tick of the clock, so let's not waste time. Rex, my dog, likes to lick my face when I come home. My final chore is to fill the dishwasher with the dishes. Five more sentences. Jenny's report was written about the right way to save a document on the new computers. I spilled pineapple juice on my pillow and now my face is sticky. Mom says I need to keep my bedroom window closed to keep the wild bears out. My sister, Iris, is never silent at the dinner table. My birthday gifts were hidden high on the shelf in the garage, but I found them. Now let's do our small talk using food as the topic. Remember to emphasize the underlined word in each sentence. I'll read the passage, then stop the video and practice on your own. Vegetable, vegetable soup, tomatoes and corn, whole wheat bread. I like a bowl of soup. I like a bowl of vegetable soup. I'd like a large bowl of vegetable soup. I'd like a large bowl of soup. I'd like a cup of soup. I'd like a cup of tomato soup. I'd like a large cup of soup. What are you going to have? Tomato soup. Mmm, that sounds good. Salt and pepper. Please pass the pepper. Please pass the salt. Pass the pepper and salt, please. Please pass the pepper. Please pass the salt. Bread and butter. Pass the bread and butter, please. Please pass the bread. Please pass the butter. Let's get started. Today's video will give you a few tips on topics to use when speaking English while eating food. It also will talk about a few do's and don'ts at the dinner table. Here are a few common topics that you can use when talking and having a meal with someone. Shopping can start some great conversations. Conversation starters such as, where do you like to shop? What's the most unique place you've ever been shopping? And where did you get that shirt? It looks terrific on you. People always talk about the weather. As they say, you can talk about the weather but there's really nothing you can do about it. Sports is another common topic that people love to discuss, either sports that you watch or sports that you do. Start a discussion telling people about the countries that you have visited or maybe the country you're from. Get people talking about a movie, a show, a concert, or a great theater that you've been to. On the flip side, try to avoid conversations about politics, religion, or asking someone how much money they make. That will stop a conversation. Now let's talk about table manners. What are they and what can you do about them? Table manners are polite or well-bred social behaviors when eating with others. Now every country has different manners, so know what's expected of you depending upon where you are. 
Here are some common American table manners. Don't talk with food in your mouth. Excuse yourself when leaving the dinner table. Don't start eating till everyone is seated. Don't make a point by pointing a fork or a chopstick at another person. Don't use your cell phone at the dinner table and avoid harsh language or disagreements. The best advice I could give you is do one thing at a time at the dinner table. When eating, eat. When talking, talk. When drinking, drink. But don't try to combine them into one activity. Now let's discuss a few common English words used when eating. Bowl, cup, glass, sandwich, side dish, dessert, menu, main course, appetizer. Now turn off the video and practice on your own. Bowl. A bowl is used for liquids such as soup. In most American settings, a person would use a spoon along with the bowl. Cup. A cup is used for tea or coffee or sometimes soup. Glass. Glass is a usually clear, breakable material that comes in a number of shapes and sizes that's used for drinking such things as water, wine, milk, or tea. Appetizer. An appetizer is finger food, food that people use their hands to eat with. It's usually small, bite-sized pieces of food that are served before the meal. Sandwich. A sandwich is simply two pieces of bread with meat or cheese, fish, and sometimes vegetables such as tomato and lettuce in between. A popular sandwich in America is the hamburger. Main course. The main course is the primary item eaten at a meal. Generally meat, fish, pasta, or tofu would be items that people would eat for the main course. Side dish. A side dish is a food item that goes along with your main course. So it would be something along the lines of vegetables or french fries or salad. Dessert. Everyone's favorite. A dessert is served at the end of the meal and usually consists of pie or cake or ice cream. Menu. A menu is the list of items that a restaurant serves an individual who wants to eat there. A menu also can be the items that are going to be served at someone's dinner. Here's a short paragraph using the words we just learned. Stop the video and see if you can figure out where each word belongs. Here's the completed paragraph. Xing had dinner at her parents' house. The dinner menu started with an appetizer of cheese and crackers and a glass of wine. Next was a cup of soup. She could have had a bowl of soup, but that was too much soup for her. The main course was fish with a side dish of French fried potatoes. Dessert was ice cream. It gave her the leftover fish and bread to make a sandwich for tomorrow's lunch. Preparation is the key to a great dinner conversation. So take a few minutes before you go out and keep these things in mind. Think about the person you're going out to dinner with and the topics they like to discuss. Ask them questions. Be an active listener. And remember, silence is not the end of the world. It's a good thing sometimes. Here's something you can do. Invite an English speaker to lunch or dinner and plan a few topics to discuss. That's the best way to learn, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have lunch with you. For more great tips on speaking English, go to AmericanSpeechCompany.com. There you'll find many articles on ways to speak English with more fluency and more comfort. Or for many more great tips, get our book, Seeking Balance, The Ultimate Guide to English Speaking Excellence for the shy, foreign, or frustrated. You can get it on Amazon.com or BarnesandNoble.com or go to our website. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us. And remember, every great meal 
starts with a big smile. Bon appétit!